I've always colored outside lines. Does that make me a bad kid? I don't know. Maybe it does. Ever since I was little, I've always had a problem listening to directions. Something inside me hates following the rules. What is that? It's like every time I'm told to do something, all I want to do is the exact opposite. Do I enjoy it only because it's wrong? Or are all bad things just more fun to do? If I was surrounded by people who wanted me to do bad things, would I be the best behaved kid ever? This is what happens when you spend most of your day in time out. Lots of time for self-reflection. Second Chances is an early intervention program designed to educate and empower at-risk kids before they become just another statistic in, in the system. If you're a parent who's noticed that your child is in need of some guidance, our program can get them back on track. We provide focused activities, social interaction, and of course, love! Making positive choices the best that we can be. Through many voices of one big family. And second chances, you know you're not alone. It's more than a school, it's your second home. Making positive choices the best that we can be. Well? That should have sucked. Okay, we're starting a dialogue. Was that supposed to be this school? Yeah. Because we're never that happy. No one is ever that happy. I'm happy. You don't count. But didn't you like the school song at the end? <laughs> okay, okay, this is good. No, you're having a strong emotional reaction, and this is good. And I'm going to receive it and uh, process it. and. I will get back to you. Charity? Okie doke, let's begin. Just settle down, please. Shut your mouth, I'll shut them for you. Thank you, Marla. Before today's session, I'd like to begin with a little positive affirmation. Please rise and join hands. We are in a safe place. This is our circle of acceptance. Look around. Every one of you fits in. You are no longer an oddball. You are not an ugly duckling. You are not a black sheep. Why are you looking at me? Um, no, um, I, I didn't mean black black. Uh, I meant black like bad, not bad. Um, it's an expression. Like, why would the color of your wool determine what kind of sheep you are? I happen to love black sheep. I see a black sheep and I'm all like, Bah, my brother! I love being a volunteer at Second Chances. I visited last summer with my youth group and felt a calling to serve. I try not to judge anyone. The kids here aren't bad. I just think some folks weren't blessed with the willpower to fight temptation. Like my Aunt Patty, nicest lady you will ever meet. Addicted to scratchers. That woman will spend her entire disabilities check on Lucky Sevens. But like I said, no judgment. Believe it or not, most kids love discipline. They crave it, of course. They always hate the one who's delivering it. Doesn't bother me. I enjoy order. Buttons in line, laces straight, rules followed. It's like medicine. Not always pleasant, but good for you. You wouldn't look at a criminal in prison and say, oh, poor guy, if only he had more freedom growing up. He had too much structure. The kids that end up here need some orders, if you ask me, before it's too late. I blame the system. Not harsh enough. Did you know, in this country, there's cable TV in their jails? <sighs> I miss Korea. They really know how to punish people. Sean, would you like to share? I 
got into another fight this weekend. That makes four this month. It's not that I look for trouble, but I always seem to be available when it finds me. Most people are scared of violence. They've never been in a fight. I mean, a real fight. Punches, kicks, hair pulling. It's messy. I think that's why people try to avoid it. I know that's why I don't. Most of the day, I'm pretending. I say hi to you, you say hi to me. Nothing's real. You want to have an authentic interaction with someone? The next time you find some dude's fist flying at your face, go with it. See where the moment takes you. Well, that was very motivational. Who's next in the share square? It's my turn. So I, um, <clears throat> I wrote some things down. If I can. Um, I have an invisible friend, uh, his name is Nathan, but, uh... I thought torture was illegal. Our rights are being violated and no one cares. They take away your phone every morning so you have zero access to the outside world until the end of the day. There's no Facebook, no Twitter, and no Instagram. And by the time I get out of here, it takes me, like, forever just to scroll through everyone's new manicure pics. It's so unfair. Now there's some documentary film crew sitting here pointing a camera at me. I'm for real. My life is hell. So anyways, where are you now? What? What? I wasn't talking to you. OK, I have a super tiny Bluetooth. Shh. I sneak it in so my BF Jackie can keep me up to date on what's going on in my old school. Like the fact that Lexi is all over Evan now, even though she knows I still like him. And he just started texting me back, which means he definitely likes me, too. And I'm pretty sure he wanted to get back together until he saw Lexi at the mall the other day. And I know she was all flirting with him like crazy. But then you know what Evan did? What did he do? Shh. That's what I'm trying to find out. I swear there's no privacy here. Mm -hmm. Do I know why I'm here? Um, I do and I don't, I guess. I set a doll on fire in my backyard. I know that was the final straw. That's what got me sent here, but I don't know. Why did I do it? No clue. I mean, it's not like I woke up that morning and thought, I'm gonna torch an American girl doll today. But I regretted it doing it right away. It belonged to my little sister, Angel. We don't have a lot of money for ex expensive toys, but we all saved up and got it for her birthday last year. <laughs> Man, you should have seen her face when she unwrapped that doll. I love that kid. She's not like one of those annoying little sisters like you see on TV. Angel's really sweet. Kind of shy, bookish, you know, but just so sweet. The worst part is she doesn't even hate me. She cried the day I got sent to second chances. I want to be someone who deserves that kind of love. Someone who deserves Angel. <laughs> Can we not do this right now? <laughs> uh, is it okay if my chair makes a little noise before I begin speaking? That's fine. This is my little office here. Um, no staff, no secretary, just me. These are the files that we are required to keep on each student in the program. But to be honest, I don't need them. I have a genuine friendship with every kid here. I was an only child, and I don't have children of my own, never married. Now I'm like the old woman who lived in a shoe, except the shoe is a school. Oh, I almost forgot, we're registering a new student today. <clears throat> It's showtime. Come on. This is the fun part. Come on in. Hello, sir. My name is Jian Tian, baby sister Malin Tian. I'm so happy to be here at the school of two chances. 
Aren't they adorable? I'm not going in there. No, I won't fit with those kids. No, your accent is so embarrassing. But, but the, I speak perfectly English. How can you speak perfect English if you never even open the box? I'm very excited. Baby sister is becoming a real American teenager. She's going to this American school. And she's like gonna teach her how to become this uh, cheerleader and then get boyfriend on quarterback football team and have this crazy makeup party. <laughs> Ooh, maybe they're gonna get in trouble by stealing rival school mascot. <gasps> My brother has seen every episode of Saved by the Bell. He thinks it's a documentary. I know he means well, but I'm already nervous enough about my first day. I don't need him being all proud of me. If he knew that baby sister was having some trouble in school, it's weird seeing your big brother cry. Here's my new schedules. I guess I should go to class, meet my classmates. Or maybe I should check out what the bathroom looks like first. Hear that? $26.79. I save every penny I can find. I've never spent any of it. I like having it, not spending it. I got in trouble for reselling my Girl Scout cookies. See, I figured out that if I sold the cookies individually to kids at the park, a forge out of the box, is really worth $16. By the time I got caught, I was up to two grand. The scouts were not happy when they found out. They took away all my merit badges. I had to give back all the money. Now I'm broke. That's why my bake sale tonight is such a big deal. I usually do pretty well in the parent market. Mommies and daddies can't say no to this face. Our new budget approval just came in. It gets smaller every year, and I'm sure this year will be no different. We're running on a shoestring as it is. The big cuts always start with these kinds of programs. I just wish those bureaucrats in Washington could come down here and see these kids' faces. Stop looking at the numbers and give them what they need. Ritalin, Adderall, Texadrine, Focalin, this one's brand new. I'm a test subject in their clinical trials. May cause sudden changes in mood. Sweet. Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, occurs in children when neurotransmitters trigger changes in the dopamine levels in which the blah, 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 who cares, right? I'm bored and I'm the one talking. So what is all this? Some kind of movie? Are we all gonna be famous for being so screwed up? Cause you know, I can turn up the crazy for you. Uh, no, no, we, uh, we just want you to be yourself, okay? Boring. Look, if you want to keep a kid like me glued to the screen, then you gotta have some bite, you know? A twist. Like, here, give me the camera. Uh, um, uh, 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 Extreme uh, close-up! Hey, hey, give me that back. In a world where the subject you document documents you back. One camera crew loses complete control, and their camera, da, da, da. I'm not sure if you want to film us. We really aren't a part of this. Yeah, we don't go here. We're visiting friends. No, we're not. We got caught shoplifting, so they sent us here for community service. But we barely didn't steal anything, so you know. <laughs> she took an eyeliner. Totally worth it to spend the next six hours of my life. Here. I bought a book to read because I thought it would be boring. 
but now they're doing cool group therapy stuff. It's really weird. Yeah, it's weird and emotional and like passionate kind of. What are you even talking about? Just, did you see some of the guys in there all disgruntled and rough around the edges? Like tan from working in the sun probably. I told you, those trashy novels are rotting your brain. I bet they're really wild kissers. Ew, no! Did any of them talk about me? Why? Why would they do that? Because I'm new and mysterious and exotic, kind of. And part of me felt like an animal, you know, not even human. I think that's why I used to eat so much dog food. Thanks for such a brave share, RJ. Now, before we move on, would anyone else like to speak today? Anyone? Her parents say she just stopped talking one day. No one knows much about Abby, so they just assume the worst. She was having a hard time at her old school. I think she just needed a place to be left alone. Abby is one of those kids. She's one of the reasons why I started the school in the first place. Abby needs this place. Well, I have something to say. Here we go. This flyer for parents' night says dress code is semi-formal. What is that implying? Pretty little dresses for the woman folk. What is this, pre-enlightenment Western Europe? It started in kindergarten. I would notice small things at first, like when boys would use swear words, everyone would laugh. No one ever told them they were being unladylike. Oh, then we learned to write, and they called it pen men -ship. Seriously? Some of us are women. It's been a struggle ever since. The misogynist male establishment in my old school couldn't handle a strong female voice speaking out. I refuse to participate in history class. <laughs> you mean his story? Please. If I wanted to hear a bunch of lies perpetrated by men to cover up what they did and who they really are, I'd start dating. So enjoy your evening of enforced gender stereotypes, ladies. None of you will be forced to wear a dress. Why do we have to wear clothes at all? Because, Laurel, two people made a mistake in a garden a long time ago. Who else has concerns about parent night? Yeah, keep the beat, yo. Yo, what's parents like? My folks are rare as type. When their moms and pops hear it, they will swear as type. Shut up, Avery. No one wants to hear you rapping. Yo, my name is MC Z Mac, E to the Z. I really don't want to tell you too much about my life, my struggles, how I got here. Mostly because it's on my new album. My life, my struggles, how I got here. Track after track of Easy's real life autobiography. Available on iTunes. I rap about how my parents split up for like a month. Everything's cool now, but it was scary. Talk about real life in the cul-de-sac. Just because the community is gated, it don't mean you won't be hated. For my new CD, I'm going a whole new direction. Soft side of Easy Mac. Know what I mean? I've been writing mad love songs. I used to treat females shady, but now I only want one lady. Aw, oh, snap. Hold up. I used to treat females shady, but now I only want one lady. The news is bad. The numbers are worse than I thought. I don't want to ruin tonight. These kids have worked way too hard for that. But between you and me, this may be the last parents' night at Second Chances. Ever. Oh, um, no. Abby? Abby! Abby! Come, sweet. Abby, please, honey, you're okay. You're okay, don't worry about anything. You're gonna be okay. You're... Oops, sweetheart, come.
gonna marry her someday. First of all, she's the coolest dude I know, and she isn't even a dude. At least I don't think she's a dude. She has boobs. That's not the reason why I want to marry her, though. That's just because of her boobs. Even if she didn't have boobs, I'd still marry her. Like, I'd marry her with no head, even. Yeah, if Sadie was a boobless, headless dude, I'd totally gay marry her creepy body, because that's just how much I love her. She's by far the best thing that's ever happened to me. Ever. Well, we haven't officially said the L word yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm in love with him. I, I know that sounds stupid because Graham is my first real boyfriend, but even with no one to compare him to, I can tell he's special. Sure, maybe he doesn't always say the right thing, but he always means the right thing, you know? I can't believe I found him in this place. Imagine telling your dad you met a guy at Second Chances. But he was pretty cool about it, actually. He said, well, at least you've got something in common. You're both mildly awful children. Yeah, Dad's hilarious. I'm so excited for Graham to meet him tonight. <laughs> Water? Each of you get one worm to dissect. Remember to be careful with your scalpels when cutting them open. We want to preserve the inner organs. What was I supposed to do? I could not participate in the slaughter of 32 helpless creatures. Isn't every life precious? Can't we all feel pain? I'll probably get in trouble for it, but watching those little guys slowly wiggle toward free soil was worth it. I'm like the Harriet Tubman of earthworms. This school is so depressing. Mostly everyone just sits around wishing they were dead. Oh, and now the skater losers are practicing their dumb tricks again. It's so annoying, they have no life. I would be at the skate park and I'd see this kid. No one knew him, but he became like a legend because he skated with no pad to no helmet, nothing. I don't know what was wrong with me back then. Looking back now, I see how stupid I was. It was so sick. More like reckless. Remember, we never talked. Yeah. For months, it was this unspoken battle. I would wait for him to lay down a line and then try to do a cleaner. But you never could. Yeah, right, says you. My tricks are way more technical, bro. You wish. It's true, you've lost your touch. Dude, I'll still own you. Don't worry, I'll screw this punk later. See how well we get along? That's why we started a skate crew together. We're called the Brick Riders. Our motto is, no one rides alone. We're a skate crew. We skate together, we chill together, that's about it. We go to each other's backs, like a big family. Strength in numbers, right? Yep. Truth is, lately I haven't been skating as much as I used to. Don't get me wrong. It's still my crew, my boys. But eventually we all have to move on, you know? Did I tell you who goes here? Cammy St. Clair. Yes, Way, she is like disgustingly rich. Well, she has a live-in nanny and has a personal driver to take her here and home every day. Some parents are less involved in the program. For example, the St. Clairs have been traveling abroad. We haven't seen them since registration. On Cammy's admission application, they wrote, not living up to expectation. Whatever that means. In second grade, our class pet was a goldfish named Lucy. Uh, one day we got this homework assignment to draw a picture of Lucy just based off of our memory. I stayed up working all night on it. I, I tried to make it look exactly how I thought she looked. Whatever perfect was, I wanted that. Well, the next day we all showed our drawings and we compared them to the real Lucy. Mine was so bad, <laughs> probably the worst in the class. 
definitely not perfect. But I love that drawing. I never throw it away. <laughs> not sure why that just came to me. Psst. Hey, you knew? Me? Yeah, don't do that. Turn back around. Sorry, I, I just... You, you trying to get yourself killed? No eye contact. They'll see it as weakness. Who? Who? Do you know who you are? The lunch line? They call this place Death Row. This is the most dangerous spot in school. Seriously? Nice kids like you get jumped here all the time. But I'm sure you'll be fine. Is your emergency contact info up to date? Oh God, what'd I do? Calm down. You might make it out alive if you try to keep your head down and blend in. Head down, blend in. Thanks. I feel like I owe you my life now. Don't mention it, but I'll take that fruity cup. Here you go. No, yeah. wrong. If you let me eat your fruity cup today, then I get to eat your fruity cup every day for the rest of your life. Have you not been listening to anything I've been saying? Sorry, I, I just thought we were friends now. Friends? You're hopeless. Wait, don't leave. See the spork? If anything goes down, break off two prongs and protect yourself. Okay, not yet. Okay. What not yet? Oh no, I was talking to him. Ooh, my bad. Really? You are so sweet. Every life has a voice, but sometimes I think I'm the only one who can hear them. Shh, it's okay. He's been through a lot. Poor guy. I rescued him from a breeder down in Pasadena at a farmer's market. That place, so much sadness. But I'm not just a vegan. I also don't eat mistreated fruits or premature vegetables or anything that has to suffer just so I can have lunch. I try to live in harmony with all of nature. But to be honest, I'm not even comfortable wearing clothes. What's cooking good looking? Lunch. Yo, I was wondering if I could eat with you. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I want a fine feast with my dime piece. All I right, wanna... you can sit, just stop that. That just smells good. What you call that? It's called Beyond Diggy. Hook me up? You're not going to like it, trust me. Why? It's very Korean. Look, growing up, lower middle class, I had to eat some crazy stuff just to survive. Yeah, some days I had to eat what I found on the street. Please have some. Beyond Deggy is Korean for silkworm larva. Basically, they're just boiled maggots. Can't believe how much he likes it. I feel like a French maid working on a grand estate in a little village just outside of Perry. I feel like I'm babysitting a baboon. Baboon is a funny word. <laughs> Maybe it's best if we just don't talk for a while. Dude, seriously? Oh my god, did you see that? <sighs> yeah? Guess the guys here aren't as charming as you thought, huh? He likes me. Wait, what? That was obviously his way of saying hello. He's like the shy stable boy, the stutter, who dares not to speak my name. What's it like inside that brain? I bet he expects me to meet him somewhere secret. If only you knew where. But I do. This is a clue for the location of our secret rendezvous. Which would have to be... The vending, vending machine. machine! Of course, duh. Oh my god, he is so romantic. Yeah. Sounds like true love. He's just been waiting all day for the perfect time to throw that can at you. I can't believe this is happening. Well, don't just stand there. Go to him. Are you sure you're going to be okay cleaning up alone? Please, go. Thanks. 
And when we get married, maybe you'll be my maid of honor. Ooh, if I'm lucky. Can you tell this is an astronaut? Um, I think so. Who is that? These are influential women forgotten by history textbooks. Valentina Tereshkova, first woman in space. Jeanette Rankin, first woman in Congress. Elizabeth Smith Miller, first woman to wear pants. Oh, <laughs> it's cute. No, it's not. What are you working on, Ellen? Um, it's a traditional Russian ballerina. I'm gonna give it to my little sister. Oh, make sure you give it big boobs and a tiny waist so your little sister can get the full effect of an unrealistic body type that she can never achieve. She likes ballerinas. It's pretty. Pretty, exactly. Your little sister should just find a husband, get pregnant, and call it a day. I'm kind of trying to make up for something mean I did. You wouldn't understand. Oh, I know. You set fire to her fancy doll and you're trying to replace it. Leave her alone. I'm just saying, she can do better than giving her that symbol of oppression. <laughs> Tonight? He's coming tonight? It's parents' night, baby. Obviously my dad's coming. Uh, my parents aren't coming. Well, I wish they were so I could meet them too. No, you don't wish that. You don't want to meet my parents. No one wants to meet anyone's parents. Meeting parents is bad. Don't worry. You're gonna love my dad. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna love anyone. I mean, not, not anyone. Just not your dad. I mean, not, not ever. Just not... Sadie, I'm not ready for this. I thought you said you wanted to meet him. I do. In the future, not tonight. I told him that you were excited to meet him. I told him how I... I just... I, I told him that you were really great. But I'm not really great. I'm a loser from a crappy family who loves his daughter. What? I'm a loser from a crappy no. family. No! You... you love me? Yeah, duh, you're perfect. What did I do? That's the first time you've told me that. Really? Because I think it all the time. You dummy. I love you too. <laughs> Knock it off, you two! Oh! Happens every year. Just like the flu. If you give love a nurturing place, it will blossom. So a rack with you. You act like you don't love love, but I know you just can't wait to fall head over heels. That will never happen. My shoes are too sensible. What's your excuse this time, bro? Look, I got stuff I gotta do today. That's five straight sessions, Kyle. What's going on? You skating with another crew? Come on, man. Of course not. Well, you definitely don't have time for your brothers anymore. Yeah, man. What's up? Come What's on. What's happening? Can we talk alone, bro? More secrets, man? No. We're a family, remember? We don't keep secrets. So? We're waiting. Let's ride. I know you guys are busy, but... It's just everyone else is gonna have someone there. And... You're right, Daddy. Okay. Bye. I think I'm more like a slayer than Zach, but definitely not Scratch. Who am I? You have the brains of Jesse, but the looks of Kelly. I, I don't really know what that means, but it sounds really cool when you use that accent. <laughs> I know. Let me hear you say, Paige is a beautiful name. Paige is a beautiful name. <laughs> now let me hear you say, you are a golden flower. You are a golden flower. Flowers. <laughs> There's a weird girl in your car. There's a weird girl in your car. <laughs> no, for real. There's a weird girl in your car. Trust no one!
my. That is beautiful. I know that you're gonna say you hate it and I'll... Wait, you like it? I love it. Such creative use of colors, such freedom, especially like the fact okay, that Okay, she... that's enough. The more you like it, the more I wanna shred it to bits. You're looking at the best parents in the whole world. I mean it. Believe it or not, having a kid like me can be challenging, but these guys have never treated me like I'm annoying. I just want to say on camera for the world to see that I love you both a lot. You can't edit that part out. Here's your change, ma'am. I appreciate your business. Keep it. <laughs> 75 cents? Oh, that is so nice of you. Right into my little cupcake. You enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye-bye. <laughs> Cheapskate. I pulled my Shirley Temple for three quarters. You want me to handle it? I like your enthusiasm, but no. Welcome to Mindy's Bake Sale. Which one did you do, Ellie? Oh, um, I did this one's really. hers. Oh, she's beautiful. And strong. Ballerinas are powerful, dedicated athletes. They work hard at their craft. Much harder than men. Men who think they can just okay. go. Tone it down. She's only six. Sorry. Can you play with her? Guess what? You can have her. Really? I made it for you. Thank you, Ellie. Listen, I wanted to say I'm really sorry for what I did. And I know it's not as nice as the other one you had before, but She's it's... better. I can't believe you did that. It's a great doll for a little girl. Oh, I almost forgot. For when she's not wearing a tutu. Thanks. Okay, looking good. Handsome, but not too handsome. Whoa, camera's in the john? <laughs> Mind me not to pull my pants down. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what I came here for. Well, not just that, of course. I mean, I planned to, uh... I, I mean, I needed to, uh... <laughs> you don't need to hear all the stinky details. <laughs> don't worry about it. They're here to film me. They say it's important for the audience to see me like this. I, I mean, not me using the bathroom, but right. me being nervous and all. I'm a little nervous myself. My daughter's making me meet her boyfriend tonight. Ouch. But you're I'm not a looking forward to that. Myself. My daughter's making me meet her Between boyfriend Between you and me, a lot of the guys Ouch. are real lowlifes. But you're not looking forward to that. Makes you feel mm -hmm. any Between you and me, a lot of the guys here are real lowlifes. Makes you feel any better at meeting my girlfriend's be dad for the first Tell time me about it. It'd be fun. Tell me about it. This is amazing. I haven't even introduced them yet. I knew they were gonna love each other. You know that old saying about how girls end up dating guys exactly like their fathers? <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> I'm a lucky girl. Oh my gosh, All right, so here's the thing. You have an art project I want to see. Is that you? Hi! Hey. Linda, how are you? Good. Well, there you are. I haven't seen this young man for quite a while. Yeah, Kyle's been helping out the dance studio after school. Is that right? Mm. Turns out we needed a male dance partner for the girls' trip. He's a real twinkle time. Uh -huh. Mom! Uh, Rusty here's been all mopey without his mm. best friend to skater board with, right? Mom! What? It's true. I heard you crying up in your room last night. Can you please just go sit down? Okay, okay, we're going. We're not one of here. How have you been? Good. God, I haven't seen you forever. No. Dancing? You could have told me. No one rides alone, remember? Dude, I was embarrassed. Obviously. Embarrassed because I liked it so much. Dancing's kind of my thing. I always be a brick rider, but I want to do this too. You cool with that? You know we all got to call you Twinkle Toes now, right? <laughs> Why are you smiling? 
You missed me. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> this is dedication to a girl that I know who comes from a completely different world that I know. When I'm through, she gonna wanna murder me though. Punishment that I get, I get deservedly so. Yo, a player like me never had any heart. To the day I met a girl who could tear me apart. Let me start by saying just a kid from the burbs. Chances with this Korean girl is kind of absurd. The time when I asked for half the food on your plate. That's because I was too scared to ask you on a date. But it's fate. And now I'm standing here and I can't. So if you're free Friday night, then here's the plan. We can go mini golf in my mom's minivan. You'll be my big mama. I'll be a mini man. I know you normally object to fun. But give me one chance. I'm going to need a second one and I'm done. That was so brilliant. You know my flow was tight. Shut up. You're early. Camille? Daddy? What are you doing here? Sounds like you needed me. Well? Am I, uh, too late? You have all been so supportive and I can't thank you enough and I know that many of you were looking forward to going on the field trip next week but unfortunately we've had to cancel <laughs> Would Laurel's parents please meet her outside with some clothes? Thank you. Why is the field trip canceled? Um, <clears throat> it's a budget thing. I'd prefer not I to I hear this place is shutting down. Is that true? No, OK, I don't know what you've heard, but. It's true. What? I was going to make an announcement on Monday, but uh, it's true. I have to call you back. But hey, let's not ruin the night, okay? Let's let's all keep it going. Let's 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 have fun tonight. And hey, who's got another song? Come on, somebody out there's got another one, right? Maybe we should all just. Um, I'm sorry, everyone. We should go home. Making positive choices, the best that we can be. In many voices comes one big family. At second chances, you know you're not alone. It's more than just a school, it's your second home.
That's it. I'm being robbed by the person I hired to protect me. It's called irony. Besides, you can afford it. Yeah, I guess people like bank goods when they're sad. I'm gonna miss this place. Why are you throwing that away? Someone tried to give me a fake money note, just like a banana. A fake money note? Nah, that's real old. Instead of giving me real money in my birthday cards, she writes little notes, like that one. Oh, people, am I right? This is called a check. And if you take it to a bank, you can trade it in for real money. Yeah, all right. How much real money? Whatever mom is written on here. <sighs> Are you OK? Yeah, I just, I got to go, because I'm late for a tea party. Bye. That we 